Well guys, I'm down here at Baden Lake and I decided to go after some largemouth bass. And I actually came down here the other day and I got on a really hot bite and I caught some really nice bass. So today what I'm gonna do is a challenge and that is I wanna catch a five pound bass. But I can only do it with jigs and then worms. It don't matter what color, what jig, I can only use those. But uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. It is raining a little bit, but it should probably clear out or at least be overcast. Let's go catch a five pound bass. Guys, that could be a fish. Oh, shoot. It's a huge turtle. What am I going to do now? Stay away from me, buddy. How in the world did I do that? Oh, wow. That is not what I want. Stay away from me. <laughs> the thing's a huge turtle. Rats. Oh, boy. That's a big dude. I did not want him getting me. Well, first bass of the day. Not really. Of course, I caught his foot, of all things. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to cut that. I ain't going to take a chance of him getting me. That's a big turtle. I don't think. Let's see here. Oh, man. He's, man, barely. He's, ooh, look at that mouth. Barely caught, man. If I could just get it out of that. Don't move, buddy. Stay right there. Stay right there, buddy. Don't move. Mm. There we go. Got him. Whew, I tell you what, guys, that was a big turtle. I thought I was gonna have to cut the line, but thankfully I was able to get it off. But um, did not want to get bit by that. All right, I, I keep getting snagged in the weeds, and I don't remember getting snagged that much when I didn't have this weight on here. So I'm gonna take the weight off and see if that makes a difference. I'm gonna keep the weight though. I might have, if it gets windy or something, I might have to put it back on, but for now, I'm just gonna switch it. Got one, got one, a decent one. Decent bass, guys. I felt it start taking it, decent bass. Come on, buddy. Don't get off. Not a huge one, but it, first one of the day, not too bad. Come here, buddy. Yes, took him long enough, but we finally got one. You know what I forgot it was a net, of course. I meant to get rid of a net. Okay, there we go. Well guys, this is not the five pounder I'm looking for, but for the first fish of the day, I will take it. It was getting a little bit discouraged because it's been a while and I haven't got a bite, but for the first one, that's a pretty decent one. I'm not even gonna weigh it, it's probably about a pound, but we'll let it go and hopefully we'll get another one. Alrighty, buddy, thank you for biting. Going back down there, goodbye. Well guys, I've still only caught the one, nothing's really working. So what I've done is put it on a red worm and I put the weight back on because the wind's up a little bit and that's a really light worm. So it needs just a little bit of weight. But uh, hopefully the bite will pick up so far it hasn't. It's been pretty much non-existent. So hopefully it'll, maybe the later afternoon, which hasn't got afternoon yet, but a little, when it gets afternoon, maybe a little bit later afternoon, maybe it'll pick up or something. Well, I'm gonna make a move. I'm gonna go across because um, this side's just not really producing nothing. It's just, just the one bass, and I fished a 
long time and a long ways. So maybe they're hanging out over on the other bank. We'll see. Guys, we got a bass. Oh, we got a bass. That surprised me. I was not, I didn't think we had one on and we did. But it was just the weeds. There we go. Second bass of the day. We can get it in here. It's not a big one. Ooh. Come here, buddy. Oh, got me in the weeds. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Ooh. There we go, second bass. All right guys, here we go, second bass. It took forever to get it, but um, what I did is I changed from my red worm back to a blue, and as soon as I did that, I got a bite. So maybe that's the key, but I throw in the jig some too, just no bites on them, but that's awesome. Finally got another one. It's about the same size as the other one, about a pound. So getting back in there, hopefully we'll get some more and hopefully I can catch that five pounder. All right, buddy. Thanks for biting. Get on back down there. Well, guys, I decided to make a switch. Um, all the pleasure boaters and all of that came out. I didn't really realize this was a holiday or I probably wouldn't have fished today. But um, all they're all out making it really wavy and all of that. And the bite really wasn't there anyways. So what I'm going to do, there's a little creek or stream, whatever you want to call it, that I've been wanting to fish and just haven't got to yet. So I'm going to head over there. But the thing is, I know nothing about it. Um, yeah, I could go up there 30 feet and it'd be too shallow or uh, could be blocked off with a tree or something. I don't know, but um, we're going to go exploring and hopefully find that five pound bass. All righty, guys, just pulling into the boat ramp area. And I'm actually surprised there's not that many people here at all. There's one truck, so got it pretty much all to myself. So we get it back down in here and then we'll go fish that creek. Guys, oh, that was a big bass, big bass, oh my word. Guys, I am sick right now. That was a big bass, like a nice one. That was probably at least a three pounder. Guys, we got one, we got one, finally. It's not a big one. Hey, it's a bass. That's awesome. Come here, buddy. Get in here. Yes. There we go. Well, guys, here he is. Not my five pounder, but another bite. And I was really hoping for one because it had been a while since that, that big one I lost. But um, I really wasn't sure if there was bass up in here because it was like stagnant water. So, but apparently there are because. Here's the proof, but that's awesome. Another one, and uh, I mean, we have a good chance of getting into a big one up here. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. Going back down there. Well, guys, um, as you can see right here, it's gotten extremely, extremely shallow, and I think it's blocked off up there. So I'm going to turn around and head back downstream, and I'll fish on the way back out. But uh, I'm not really sure if I'll call it on the when I get there or if I'll go, try to go somewhere else. I'm not really sure. I'm like way out in the middle of nowhere, really. So this is, I don't know. I might call it or I might try to go find somewhere else. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll catch one on the way back. Well, guys, unfortunately, I didn't get anything else coming back out of that little stream. Um, I'm going to call it a day. But unfortunately, I didn't catch my five pounder I was after, but I did manage to catch a couple and it's been a beautiful day out here. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.